Hello, dear doers and overdoers. Welcome to this Udo Point of Sale tutorial. After this video, you will be reborn with this amazing knowledge of all our wonderful POS application. You will know how to create a new product and perfectly organize your point of sale. No more missing products or customers uh, patiently waiting to find their items. After this video, your point of sale will be fully functional and easy to use. We'll also learn how to trigger an optional product that might please your beloved customers. And finally, we'll see how variants appear during a session. Wait, won't all of that take an eternity? Uh, don't worry, Loredana, just take a deep breath. This will take only a few minutes. So, are you ready? Let's jump into it. All right, we're here at the back end and we're gonna start creating the product category in the POS. And why are we gonna do that? We're gonna do that because we want to find it easy, our products in our POS. The first thing we have to do is go to the top right on the configuration and select the POS product categories. As you can see, we created already a lot, but we are going to create one more. So we're gonna hit the button create on the left top part and the name category will be furniture, because I think that's funny. And we're gonna select the parent category as the dog parent category. So it will be under the dog category. You're gonna save it and we're gonna go back to the dashboard. And now we're gonna create the most important part, which is the product itself. We're gonna go on the top menu on the products and select products once again. And we're gonna be brought back to the products uh, view. We are going once again click, uh, click on create on the left top part. And we're gonna start by selecting the name of our product, which is gonna be called Jungle's Bed. And we're gonna change it from consumable to storable. And that's why we want to keep track on how many units we have on stock and what's gonna happen to them every time, all right? Second thing we're gonna change is the sales price. For example, let's say it will cost $35.99. And this is the price that is going to show up immediately when we select the product in our POS. Next thing we're going to change is the cost itself, which is, let's say, 20 euros. This will help us with our margins and keeping track of our costs. And the next thing we're going to do is change the pictures on the top right side. We're going to click on the little pen that appears when you're uh, hovering on top of it. And you're going to find it on your computer and select the bed itself. So now we have a, bare, a very beautiful picture. Uh, we're going to go to the attribute. Well, and you forgot the category we created. I saw a category field. Yes, you're right. There is a category here, field here, but they are not the same as we created before. This one is related to the product itself in the back end and it helps to categorize the products no matter if they are on the POS or normal sales that doesn't appear on the POS. They will always be categorized by this category and it does a lot of other things but we're not going to get into that uh, configuration right now. So, but I will get there and I will show you Loredana where we are going to set the category we created in the product itself. All right. Uh, we are going to go now to the new tab on the right that says attributes and variants. And we are going to select uh, a new attribute for this product. Let's say, uh, let's select the color. Uh, we have created up front, but if you go to the configuration here, you will see that we selected the color type and that the creation method would be instantly. This means that whenever we save the product, two new uh, variants or uh, attributes will be created for this product. So we're going to select here, let's say the red and the blue. Okay. But we're not going to stop right there. We're going to create a new uh, attribute as well, which would be the size. And on the size, if we look on the configuration, just clicking here on this smart button, we will see that the creation mode is set as never option. So it won't create the uh, variants automatically when we save the product, but you will see what happens when we go to our POS front end. So we're going to select here the uh, S, the M, the L, and the XL. Perfect. Now we are going to go to the next tab, which is the sales. And here we're gonna create a optional product because I believe myself that whoever buys a bed for their furry dog, it's also wants to keep him warm. So I'm gonna offer them the soft blank, 
that we have here. I love darts. But this can be used for other purposes, like uh, warranties, for example, extended warranties or maintenance uh, comprised to, to the product itself. You can go and do whatever you want with it. Uh, the next thing we're going to change is on the right side where it says point of sale, we are going to adjust the category that we just created in the beginning. So here, Loredana is where we are going to select the dog furniture. So we can see that if we type dog, it will only appear the dog itself. But if we click here, we will find the furniture. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save. And as you can see, two variants appeared because, as I told you before, we selected two colors that would create instantly the variant. Before we go there and we adjust the variant, I want to show you this star over here. This will help you to find the products very easily in your POS. And if you just select it there, you will see that it will stay start and you have a start product now. Now, let's go to the variants. And we are going to go uh, and just edit a little bit the blue color that we created. Because as you can see, since we added the picture in the main product, the product is still in, in a red color, and we don't want it to appear like that. So we're going to click on Edit. We are going to hover the mouse over the picture, click on the pencil again, and we're going to find the new color of the blue bed. There you go. We're going to save it, and we're going to go back to the dashboard, because that seems to be enough for us to go to the demonstration on the front side. All right, now that everybody, everything is configured on the back end, let's start the new section by clicking on the button. You will have an option to open the section, and you will see both of the products on the top, as we expected. We can select the furniture category on the top here, and we will see only the beds that we created. We can click on it, a new pop-up window will appear, and you can select the size of it. It's the attributes that we selected that did not create the products Im immediately. I'm going to select the XL because if I don't fit on the other sides. So I'm going to edit. And this beautiful window will pop up with a lot of information from your product. And also the op optional products that we set on the product page. We can click on it, and it will automatically filter the product so we can select it and add it to the, to the cart. Once we have everything here done, we can proceed to the payment, and everything will be set with the payment methods. Well, this is it for now. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and if I don't see you, I hope you see me.